Hey everyone, I'm Kayla with fitnessblender.com. Today's workout is going to be an express lower body strengthening routine with a warm up, cool down, as well as one water break. We will be finishing up with some EMOM circuits, EMOM standing for every minute on the minute. If you're unfamiliar with EMOM circuits, go ahead, check out the write up for more information. Now, before we get started, go ahead and grab a medium to heavy set of dumbbells as well as a light set of dumbbells for the weighted EMOM finisher. Of course, feel free to do this workout without any weights at all, depending on where you are in your fitness journey. Go ahead, set up your workout space, and let's get started. Okay, everyone, I've set the timer. I've grabbed my weights. I will be using 10 pound weights. And let's start out with some hip openers. I like to move clockwise and then switch to counterclockwise rotations. When you switch to counterclockwise, make sure you fully extend and then bring your hip around so that you gain that extension moment. Okay, finish up that rep. You're gonna head right into a squat with a front kick. When you kick, try and control the movement and not let it control you. It's really important. Slow and controlled. The second time around, we can pick up the speed a little bit. Okay, so this one's a little different. This one, you're gonna deep squat, sitting here. You're gonna shift your weight from side to side. You can place your hands in the center. You can place them gently on top of your thighs, but you're really opening up that external rotation, that hip moment. You can put your hands down on the ground too if it feels more comfortable. Okay, go ahead, make your way back to a standing position and we are gonna be doing swings or leg swings across the body. If you would like, go ahead, hold on to a wall or hold on to a chair or counter. Let's focus on one leg and then the next time around, we'll switch and do the other side. Okay, put your hands behind your head, take a wide stance right into good mornings. Stick your glutes out, straight back, soft knee. If you've worked out with me before, you know that I like to ease my way into my range of motion, and this is no different. Couple more seconds, and then we're gonna repeat our warm up. Good, okay, right back to the beginning, which was hip openers. I do wanna comment that it's perfectly okay at home if you have grabbed one dumbbell or a set of dumbbells. Um, I am recovering from my 50th sinus infection or allergy attack, I don't know. So I am, um, I'm definitely not lifting as much as I would like. Right into front squat with that controlled kick. Second time around, try and pick up the tempo. Because we remember we do have to prep our cardiovascular system for that EMOM finisher, which I really hope you won't hate me for. <sighs> Good. Now for this one, remember it's that deep squat with the weight shifts from side to side.
Good. And then you're going to do that leg swing on the opposite side. Remember, holding onto the wall if you need to. And lastly, let's finish up with these good mornings. Take a wider stance, soft knee, straight back. At the bottom of your good morning, squeeze your glutes as you come back up. Protect your low back by contracting your core. Once we're finished with this, you have a couple of seconds so grab your weights if you haven't done so already. We've got a couple seconds before we transition into our strength circuit. We will be doing 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, back to back to back, no repeats. So I'm gonna grab my weight. I am going to start narrow. So narrow squat, walk it out to a big squat. 45 seconds. It doesn't matter the tempo that you take, just try to keep it moving. If you have a set of dumbbells, go ahead and just hold them down at your sides, just like this. But if you're using a kettlebell or a single dumbbell, taking a chest hold is probably your best bet. Good, try and finish that rep if you can. You have 15 seconds to recover before we move into our tempo RDO. Couldn't get the words out. Okay, tempo RDO meaning slow and controlled, gradually increasing the tempo of your contraction. Try and keep those dumbbells or those weights as close to your shins as possible. Really soft knee, but straight back. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. We've got 15 seconds left, so go ahead, try and pick up the pace. Good. Feels a little different when you're changing up the, the speed. Next, we've got dumbbell pickup. So you're gonna take a narrow stance, place your dumbbell on the right side. Grab your left hand, pick it up with the left, and then slowly squat down, place it back down. Control, control, control. Pick it up with the opposite hand, set it back down. The whole time, you are really engaging your core as we're doing this twisting motion. If this is too much on your spine or your low back, place the dumbbell or your kettlebell on an elevated surface next to you, like a chair. That is usually a great workaround. Good. 15 seconds, recover. We're going into good mornings after this. So, because I have a single dumbbell, I'm gonna place it behind my head, rest it on my shoulders, squeeze, 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 and come back up. 45 seconds. I filmed a calf workout yesterday and I thought it would be relatively 
pain-free, but I am definitely feeling it today. <sighs> Recovery time. So we'll see how this EMOM finisher goes for me because my calves are burning. Next up, we've got Cossack squats. So go ahead, get in your Cossack lunge, and you are going to pivot or switch from side to side. Holding your dumbbell in towards your chest makes it easier. Holding it out a whole lot harder. So my challenge is right here, close to my body. But I'm keeping my chest and body upright, squeezing my shoulder blades together, and watching my core. Couple more seconds, we got this. Good. All right. Next, we've got a staggered lunge coming up. So you're gonna take a really wide stance. The front leg is the one going to be doing all the work. We're gonna lean into that front leg and squeeze back up, making sure that knee doesn't extend past the big toe. It's almost as if you're in a warrior two pose if you're into yoga. But as you can see, really small range of motion. Work in that front glute. About 10 more seconds. Recover, switch sides. Good. Ooh, shake that out. That is definitely a glute burner. So I'm gonna widen my stance again. Make sure my front foot is pointed forward. Square away my shoulders. I'm gonna lean into my right leg. Squeeze up with the glutes. Lean into it. Squeeze up. Sometimes I like to take my hand and place it at the top of the glute just to make sure I'm activating the right spot. Your dumbbell is just along for the ride, so avoid that urge to reach with the dumbbell. Good. Okay, you've got 15 seconds to recover. We're gonna do a quick little burnout. Wall squat. I know, I know, 60 seconds. Try and take a 90 to 90 degree angle if you can. 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the waist, or at the knees, sorry. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking putting this in. Oh, 60 seconds here. Do your best. We've got 30 seconds left. We are halfway through, more than halfway through by now. Try and really make sure your abs are contract. Push your low back into that wall. All right, let's finish strong. 10 seconds left. Ooh. Okay, try and hobble your way up the wall. Grab some water, slow controlled sips. I will meet you back here for our really awesome EMOM finisher. I'll see you in a few. Fitness Blender, we're back. We are semi-ready and I'm sure we're sweaty. So 
Let's get right into it. Weighted EMOMs are our finisher every minute on the minute, meaning I'm gonna give you three exercises. You're gonna cycle through each one. Your rep goal is six reps, three on each side or six total. You're gonna cycle through each exercise. Whatever time you have left remaining in that minute is yours to rest. Ideally, take a look at the upper right hand corner of your screen. You want to aim for 10 to 15 seconds of rest in between each circuit. So we're gonna repeat the circuit three times and we've got two of these. So I'm gonna hit the timer and we're gonna finish this up. 10 seconds on our first exercise, side lunges, kettlebell, dumbbell swing, and then squat jumps. So let's get going. Remember, six is our rep range. So three on each side or six total. Go at your own pace, but remember, you wanna try and fit all of this into one minute. I'm moving on to my kettlebell swings or my dumbbell swings. It's my sixth one. I'm gonna put my weight down. I'm going to do an unweighted squat jump. Oh, all right, I got eight in. I have 15 seconds left on the timer. Remember that 15 seconds or how much ever time is left is yours. Then we go right back to the beginning. So everyone get ready, pick up your weight again. Starting with side lunges. Don't forget form, even though you're racing against the clock. Okay, I'm moving into my kettlebell swing. Dropping my weight, getting into my squat jumps, mentally and physically. Hopefully you're on your rest as well, because unfortunately it's time for one more round of that. Ooh. Let's do this. Side lunges first. Moving into kettlebell swings. and finishing up with hopefully six squat jumps. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, huh? Shake it out. Finish out. Keep going if you're still going, but don't worry. We've got 20 seconds of rest coming up. Whew. All right, so one EMOM down, one more to go. This last one, we've got plank dumbbell passes. So high plank, moving that dumbbell. We've got thrusters to a press up. Lastly, lunge jumps, I'm sorry. All right, down we go. Plank pass, Whew. six total. All right, moving in, we've got thrusters. So squat and push up. And then last one, I save the best for last, right? Save the best for last, split squat jumps. Oh, 
shaking. I'm shaking, guys. All right. I didn't give myself much time to recover. Right down. Here we go. Plank passes. Grab your dumbbell right into thrusters. Last one, split squat jumps. Oh. Ten out of ten. Way up there on my detest scale. All right. We can do one more of this. In our high plank. Watch your breath. And definitely watch out for any lightheadedness. I'm up, plank thrusters. Couple seconds left, about 25. I'm gonna finish up strong. These thighs are, they're burning. Ooh. Oh, man, that felt good, huh? Catch your breath, give you 20 seconds. We're headed into our cool down next. Hit the pause button if you need to grab some water though. Ooh. All right. Let's take a big reach overhead and exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. 30 seconds of this. Inhale up on your third one, lower down towards the ground. Slowly and carefully roll back up. Again, watching for lightheadedness. Roll up. Ah, oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? We're gonna do standing knee hug comes next. Either loop under your knee joint or in front. Hug that into your chest. Really, really stretch out those glutes. Other side. Whew. I know, sorry, I kind of cut you a little short. Go ahead, arm circle it. Oh. Arm circle it on the other side. Sometimes I like to sneak in a little bit of a posterior capsule stretch. Take that arm, reach across your body. Add a little traction with your opposite hand. Okay, take a kneeling position. Right leg up in front, left leg up towards the ceiling. You're gonna lean forward onto that right leg as you extend the left arm back. Really opening up this part of the body. Okay. Go ahead and switch sides. So left knee up front, right arm up to the ceiling. Lean forward slightly and extend back with the right arm. Good. And I'm really sweaty. That imam did me dirty. Okay, one leg out to the side, other leg tucked in. If this is a stretch here, 
stay right here. If not, take the opposite arm, reach up over your head and lean over. It really gets a great groin and inner thigh stretch. Make sure you're side bending though and not leaning forward. And we're gonna stay here on the ground and switch sides. Other leg out, tuck the opposite leg in, reach up and over. Okay, slowly come out of that. Again, checking for any lightheadedness. We're gonna be doing a quad stretch next. I like kneeling quads. I'm gonna lean back onto my heels, press my glutes up, contract my glutes ever so slightly, and that's enough for me. You can also do this in standing, a uh, single leg, of course. Good, and then lastly, sit your glutes down. Let's do a piriformis stretch. You can do this sitting on the floor. You can also do this seated in a chair or laying down on your back. And then switch. Other side. Oh. and you have reached the end of this workout routine. Thank you for working out with me. Hope you're as sweaty and feeling as accomplished as I am. I'll see you again next time. Workout complete.